Moving ahead with the next set of Harrison charts. So risk factors for thyroid carcinoma in patients with thyroid module from history and physical examination. When there is a history of neck, head and neck irradiation before the age of 18, most commonly for Hodgkin's student lymphoma. Brain radiation for childhood leukemia or other cranial malignancies. Exposure to ionizing radiation for fallout in childhood or adolescence. When the patient is less than 20 or more than 65 years, rapidly enlarging neck mass, male gender. Family history of papillary thyroid cancer in two or more first degree relatives, men too, or other genetic syndrome associated with thyroid malignancy like Cowden syndrome, these all are MCQs, Cowden syndrome, familial polyposis, Carnix complex, and phosphate and tensin homolog, hematoma tumor. Vocal cord paralysis, the patient presents with uh, any change in voice, nodule fixed in adjacent structures, or lateral cervical lymphadenopathy. So AS AS criteria for classification of axial ex, sorry axial spondyloarthritis. We have applied for patients with back pain greater than three months and age of onset less than 45 years. Sacroilitis on imaging plus or greater than or equal to one now. SPA feature that is sacroilitis on imaging, active acute inflammation on MRI highly suggestive of spondyloarthritis associated sacroiliitis and or definitive radiographic sacroiliitis according to modified New York criteria or HLMB27 plus greater than two other SPA features, inflammatory back pain, arthritis, and thesitis that is for the heel, anterior uveitis, dactylitis, psoriasis. Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, good response to NSAIDs, family strip spondyloarthritis, HLA B27 and elevated CRP levels. Signs and symptoms of thyrotoxicosis on descending order frequency. One is uh, hyperactivity, irritability and dysphoria, heat intolerance and sweating, palpitations, fatigue and weakness, weight loss and increased appetite, diarrhea, polyuria, oligomenorrhea and loss of libido. Signs is tachycardia, atrial fibrillation in the elderly, tremor, goiter, warm moist skin, muscle weakness, proximal myopathy, lid retraction or lag and gynecomastia. When you come to classification of thyroid groups, uh, benign and malignant, benign hyperplasia that is colloid nodule and fo follicular epithelial cell adenomas that is conventional or ox oncocytic that is Hertel cell. Malignant that is follicular cell, C cell and other malignancies. So follicular cell epithelial cell that is papillary carcinoma and fo follicular carcinoma. Papillary it is classical variant, follicular variant, diffuse sclerosing variant and tall cell columnar cell variants. Most common is papillary carcinomas. And follicular carcinomas are conventional then again oxyntic, oncocytic sorry, hurtle cell. Poorly differentiated carcinoma and the plastic undifferentiated carcinoma. C cell origin calcitonin producing one is especially in medullary thyroid cancer that is sporadic familial that is meant to. Other cancer malignancies like sorry lymphoma, metastasis, metastasis from breast, melanoma, lung and kidney and others. Now evaluation of a patient with hypothyroidism. When the patient of hypothyroidism comes to you. First, we will measure the TSH levels. When TSH levels can be elevated or it can be normal. So once the TSH levels are elevated, measure unbound T4, that is free T4. When free T4 is normal, there is mild hypothyroidism. If the T4 is low, then it is primary hypothyroidism. When after this, we will send the T2 antibodies or patient is asymptomatic, treat with T4. If T2 antibodies is negative or there are no symptoms, and you do annual follow-up. If uh, primary hypothyroidism, if T2 antibodies are present, then it is autoimmune thyroidism and then you will start with T4 treatment. When T2 antibodies are negative, rule out other causes of hypothyroidism. Uh, if the TSH level is normal, then if you are suspecting any pituitary disease, then no, if the answer is no, then no further tests are required. If the pituitary disease is suspected, then you will measure unbound T4 again. If free T4 is normal, then no other test. If free T4 is low, rule out other drug effects, CQ thyroid syndrome, 
then evaluate for anterior pituitary function. Coming to the causes of thyroiditis, it is acute, subacute, or chronic. Acute it will be bacterial infection, especially Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, and Enterobacter. Fungal infection like Aspergillus, Candida, Cocidioids, and Histoplasma, and Pneumocystis. Radiation thyroiditis after iodine-131 treatment. Amiodarin may be subacute or chronic. Subacute is viral, especially granulomatous thyroiditis. Silent thyroiditis includes postpartum thyroiditis, mycobacterial infection, drug induced like interferon and amiodarone. Chronic is mostly autoimmune, that is, focal thyroiditis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and atropic thyroiditis, Riddle's thyroiditis, parasitic thyroiditis like echinococcosis, strongoloidiasis, and cystiasis, and traumatic, that is, after palpation. So, causes of thyrotoxicosis is primary hyperthyroidism, one is thyrotoxicosis without hyperthyroidism, and secondary hyperthyroidism. Primary hyperthyroidism is Graves disease, toxic multinodular goiter, toxic adenoma, functioning thyroid carcinoma metastasis, activating mutation of TSH receptor, activating mutation of um, G5A, that is Macunalbright syndrome. Struma ovary, Struma ovary is ovarian cancer secretory thyroid, the hormones. Drug is iodine excess, that is John Vesno's phenomenon. Uh, thyroid toxicosis without hyperthyroidism is subacute hyperthyroiditis, silent thyroiditis, other causes of thyroid destruction like amiodaro, radiation, infarction, or adenoma, ingestion of excess thyroid hormone, thyrotoxis factitia, or thyroid tissue. Secondary hyperthyroidism is TSH secreting pituitary adenoma, thyroid hormone resistance syndrome, that is, occasional patients have features of thyrotoxicosis, chorionic gonadotropin secreting from tumors, and gestational thyrotoxicosis. So, primary hyperthyroidism, the disease is mainly in the thyroid gland. Secondary hyperthyroidism is diseases beyond the thyroid gland. Uh, Basically, thyroid gland, it is active secretion of thyroid hormones. Now, coming to the causes of SIADH, neoplasm, carcinoma, lung like duodenum, pancreas and ovary, bladder, other neoplasms like thymoma, mesothelioma, bronchial adenoma, carcinoid and Evans carcinoma, head trauma, infections like pneumonia, bacterial or viral, Abscesses, lung or brain, cavitation, aspergillosis, TB, meningitis, and capillitis and AIDS, vascular like cerebrovascular occlusion, hemorrhage, cavernous sinus thrombosis. Neurologic, it is basically all kind of neurological disorders like GBS, multiple sclerosis, delirium, ALS, hydrocephalus, psychosis, and peripheral neuropathy, congenital malformations like agenesis of corpus callosum, cleft lips, and other midline defects. Metabolic is very important, is acute intermittent porphyria. Pulmonary asthma, pneumothorax, positive pressure respiration. Certain drugs which can cause uh, SIDH, they are vasopressin and desmopressin, serotonin reuptake inhibitors, oxytocin hydrose, mincristin, carbamazepine, nicotine, phenothiazine, cyclophosphamide. Tricyclic antidepressants and monomain oxidase inhibitors. Now, coming to the evaluation of thyrotoxicosis. Uh, so, first, uh, measure TSH and unbound T4. If TSH is low and unbound T4 is high, there is primary thyrotoxicosis. When the patient has of primary thyrotoxicosis and features, patient has features of Graves' disease, then the diagnosis is Graves' disease. If the answer is no, and the patient has multinodular goiter or toxic adenoma, then it is toxic nodular hyperthyroidism. If no, then low radionucleotide uptake, then yes. Then it is destructive thyroiditis, iodine excess or excessive thyroid hormone. If low, no low iodine radioactive uptake, rule out other causes including stimulation of GnRH, chorionic gonadotropin. That is HCG, I'm sorry. 
If T S H is low and unbound T four is normal, measure unbound T three. If it is high, then it is T T three toxicosis. If it is normal, then it is subclinical hypothyroid hyperthyroidism. You have to follow up in six to twelve weeks. Measure nor or T S H is normal and increased high unbound T four. It is T H secreting pituitary adenoma, thyroid hormone, rare resistance syndrome. If T S H and unbound T four are normal, no further tests are required.